Well, it took a little bit of time, but I thought I'd go ahead and get it right before I started everything. Welcome to College Football's Greatest Hits. I'm going to start a little college football series here where I want to play probably some of the most, ex most special games and most exciting games in the history of college football using Action PC Football. Now, Action PC Football has a whole bunch of seasons so far from the current season to about 1999, including seasons back in the best teams in 70s, 75, and I'm going to probably pick them all up. But I thought I, so I picked up the 1970s uh, season, uh, the, 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 uh, top, the 100 teams of the 1970s season, uh, season, and in that season, I happened to find, okay, 1975 Georgia Tech and 1975 Notre Dame. This is the Rudy game. So for those of you who are fans of the, of the movie Rudy, and of course, uh, those were the, the, the start of this uh, show has the clip of the of the of the victory by Rudy of course that's copyrighted by uh, uh, Warner Brothers or whoever made that film so that's not mine that's uh, that's for that's copyrighted but I thought I'd put it in here as a way to introduce uh, college football's greatest hits so welcome to Notre Dame Stadium on a on a, on a crispy November e November uh, afternoon 40 degrees pretty clear it was actually not a bad uh, day there it was it was a little cold though okay um and yes, the thing is now. Of course, you look at the the um, you look at this Notre Dame Stadium. You'll see there already is a few mess ups. Um, uh, you see, Ara Parsegian, okay, was the head coach of Notre Dame. Now he was the head coach at the start of the season, but De uh, but Devine took over at the end of the season. And of course, for those of you who know the movie, all right, you know that um, that uh, you know what happened here. So what I want to do is I want to replay this game, and I'm going to play Notre Dame now. Let's go ahead and uh, get into here. Uh, get into this game. Uh, Notre Dame uh, def won the toss. We deferred to the second half, so we're going to kick off to uh, Georgia Tech. Now, uh, Rudiger is on this team, and I'm going to try to get him in there. Now, I don't know when. I'll probably try to put them put him in there in the in the fourth quarter, possibly. Uh, we're still going to try to win this game. So, this was actually uh, the '75 Notre Dame team was actually pretty was pretty decent, but they were not a they were not one of the top teams in the nation at that time. 
They had they had a tough season. All right, uh, seventy five Georgia Tech, the same team. These were still pretty two pretty good uh, football teams. And I'll be honest with you people, I love college football more than I love the pros. So I, I prefer college football any day. I really, I really do prefer college football any day of the week. So um, we're going to uh, play this game uh, utilizing uh, the, rules of the rules of play. And so we're going to see what happens here. Um, let's take a look at some of the... Uh, let's have a look at some of the rules real quick. Uh, game preferences, pretty much all set. Uh, uh, looks pretty good um, before we get anything here. Um, uh, let's see. Options, uh, lineups, uh, quick. Uh, let's see. Here. Everything looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the Notre Dame lineup. I mean, if you're ever wondering, okay, uh, if you're wondering where he is, uh, he is in here. He is in there. There he is right there. Uh, there he is. Um, there's your, there's your boy, Rudy. That's Dan, that's Dan Rudiger. That is Rudy. Now, look at him. You know, a defensive three, a run of three, a rush of one, a one of tackle, and a two of stuff. Um, him and – he made one tackle, and, yes, that one tackle was that sack that you see. But although in the actual uh, play of that game, which I actually – that's on YouTube uh, with Don Cricky calling that game between Notre Dame and uh, Georgia Tech in 75, uh, the play – the sack of the quarterback was made and – he didn't even call Rudiger's number. He didn't even call him. Didn't even mention it. But we're going to try to get him in there uh, sometime in this game because we're going to try to get him in there. I don't know when, but we're going to. And yet he's listed as a defensive tackle. Okay. It was isn't a defensive tackle. So we'll see what happens. But meanwhile, let's play some college football, shall we? Uh, 1975, Georgia Tech at Notre Dame. This is the Rudy game. And we'll start with Notre Dame kicking off. Notre Dame kicks off. It's taken. And Georgia Tech is stuffed. And McLaughlin makes the kick. It's a shallow kick. And it was a uh, hit from Hill. It was uh, Drew Hill from the who took the play and brought down by uh, Pat, brought down by uh, Dubin, uh, Dubinetsky. Now, I'll be honest, some of these players I really don't know, but we'll see how. Uh, how this goes. Let's see if we can make a few more options here. Uh, game preferences, uh, field display, game display. Let's play display the uniform instead of the photo. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see if that makes a difference here. And uh, no, well, well, I'll get it right here sooner or later. First down and 10 for Georgia Tech at their own 27-yard line. Uh, Notre Dame and this is playing a 4-3 defense. And uh, let's have a look at Georgia Tech's uh, Starting line. Here you, here you go. Leo Tierney is a starting center and pretty darn good. He's rated as a 10. Uh, Mark Hunter is a starting guard. Uh, Jeff Urchick, the other tackle. Um, Alex Bryan at guard and Bob Curley at tackle. Uh, tight end, Elliot Price. Wide receiver, Steve Rabel. Uh, Don Brees, the other wide receiver. Tony Head, running back. David Sims, another running back. And the quarterback is Danny Myers. And let's, so let's get here. First down and 10. We're just going to call a 4-3 basic run and see what happens here. It's a handoff. It's a, it's a trap to the left with Sims, and it's tackled by Niehaus at the 31, and that is a gain of four. So it's second down and six for Georgia Tech. Let's take a look at the Notre Dame defense. Uh, they, had, they had Steve Niehaus. Uh, there he is, a run a, a 10. He's a pretty good defensive tackle. Uh, Jeff Weston. And then you had um, Ross Browner at one defensive end. Uh, Willie Fry at the other defensive end. Uh, Tom Lipineski, one corner. Uh, Luther Bradley, other corner. Uh, Jim Stock, outside linebacker. Bob Golick. Well, we know who he. We know who Bob Golick is. So we know who's. We know a few players on this team, shall we? And then of course Tim Simon at sev at safety and Randy Harrison at safety. Uh, second down and six. Let's see if I can get those. Let's see if I can get that options back on here. Uh, field display, game display, uh, display here, play skill player photos, and uh, let's see if uh, that helped there. Nope, I guess it doesn't matter. All right, whatever. So second down and six for Georgia Tech at their own 31. Notre Dame's uh, going to play 4-3, and we're going to stay with a run defense. We're going to uh, blitz Golik here just to make sure. Back to throw is the quarterback. Here's the play, and he throws, and this one is incomplete, defected, deflected, by Luther Bradley, incomplete. It was intended for, for Steve Rabel, and that will now be third down and six. 
third and six. I think we're going to go to zone. We're going to go to, and they're still doing two wide receivers. I think we're going to go to a three-three nickel uh, guard against the pass here. We're going to do a regular pass. Uh, I'm going to have uh, Becker do a pl do a blitz here. Here's the pass defense. Back to throw is Myers. He's looking. He fades back the pass. He's dropped by Becker. Doug Becker on the sack makes the play, and so Notre Dame forces Georgia Tech to go three and out, and the Yellow Jackets are going to have to punt. So we'll go for a call for a punt return. Here's the punt, and it is taken, and it is Simon from the 26 looking for some yardage, but uh, Colbert makes the tackle, a three, return of three yards, punt of 47 yards. So the Irish take over at their own Notre Dame 29s. Take a look at the Irish, and yeah, they're in a full house. That's something, this is 1975, this is 70s college football, people. This was a much, you know, rules were a little bit uh, different back in the day. So let's have a look at it. A starting quarterback is Rick Slager. He's the quarterback there. Uh, running back Jerome Heavens, uh, Jim Browner, and uh, Al Hunter. Uh, defense lineman uh, Pat Poland, uh, Al Wolchick. Steve Kuehl, Ernie Hughes, and Ed Bauer. Tight ends are Ken McAfee and Tom Paris. Like I said, somebody. I mean, this is 1975. I was real. I was. I think. In, I was in. I think I was in kindergarten or first grade when this game was played. So, you know, forgive me if I don't know everybody on this team. For all, but for you, uh, expert Notre Dame fans out there or Georgia Tech fans out there. All right, you can you you can go ahead and give me some help here. First down and ten, they were in a full house backfield. So I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, inside run. I'm going to give it to uh, Heavens here. See what happens. Hand off to Heavens, and it is Dakin with the stop at the 32, a gain of three. Let's take a look at the Georgia Tech uh, defense. We have Tony Dakin, defensive end. Rick Gibney, a good one here. Uh, Red McDaniel, uh, Reggie Wilkes. Uh, Linebacker Don Shank. And we have a cornerback, Danny Rhino. There's Lucius Sanford, who's one of the better uh, linebackers in the nation. Uh, you have Don Besselou with safety. And Gil Kyle at the other cornerback. There's another player under here, but it looks like I just can't get over him. So we'll see what happens. Second down and seven for Notre Dame. Uh, I'm gonna stay in a I'm gonna stay in a full house. We're gonna do an out, we're gonna do a trap right and give it to Hunter and see what happens here. Here's the play. And it's, nope, oh, nope, tackle. Slager on the runs, a busted play. Shank with the tackle. Loss of three. It'll be third down and 10. So third and 10 now for the Irish at their own 29. Uh, we're going to go to a uh, two wide receiver, two running back offense. We're going to try to do a pass here. Uh, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a, a motion play, a medium slant, and try to get the ball to Bergmeier. And they're showing a blitz. We're going to call the original play call. Back to throw is the quarterback. He's looking, he's looking, he throws. And this pass was intended for Bergemeyer. Rhino on the coverage, it's incomplete. So it'll be fourth down for the Irish, and we're going to go ahead and punt. And try to punt it deep. Here's the kick. And it is going to, looks like it rolls dead at the 32, a punt of 39 yards. So Georgia Tech takes over at their own 32, first down. Uh, four, th four, four, three, basic. I agree. I'm going to stick with a zone defense, and I'm going to call a run here. Uh, here's the play, and there's a hand. It looks like the quarterback makes the play. Myers runs. He has Curly in front, and he gets a gain of first down. That's a nice run by Danny Myers, and the Yellow Jackets pick up the uh, first down at uh, their own 43. So first and ten. Even though I called a run defense, it still got stopped. Stopped on him. Uh, we'll stay with the four, three defense. Uh, we're going to go with, we'll bring the line in a bit. going to go man coverage and tight run defense. Here's the play. It is a run. And this time, uh, Sims with a dive play. But it is Doug Becker with his second tackle. Second down and eight at the 45. Uh, we'll stay on a 4-3. Um, we're going to go, we're going to, I think we're going to, we're going to keep it as it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send Golik on a blitz. And just still call a run defense just to be cool. Here's the play. Bullock going there. Here's the pitch out. And it is Byers pitches left ahead. And Niehaus gets the tackle at the near midfield. A uh, gain of four. It's a gain of four. So Georgia Tech is a manageable third down and four. And was they're staying in they are staying in the two wide receiver. Um I'm gonna stay in a, I'm gonna go to a, a 
I'm going to go uh, with a. Uh, I'm going to stay on the four three defense. Um, going to keep. I'm going to stay on coverage here, and I'm going to. I think they're probably going to go ahead and. I'm going to. I'm. I'm probably going to go ahead and call a run here and see what happens. So. Here's the play. A run defense is called. That was a good call by me on a normal. And it was, counter was given to head. But Doug Becker makes his third tackle, a gain of three. So Georgia Tech has fourth down and one. And so uh, the Irish hold them. And so we're going to, they're going to have to punt. So we're going to call a punt return. Here's the punt. He pitches a punt to the sideline. And it's out of the 18. So Notre Dame has the ball at their own 18-yard line. First down and 10. 10.54 left in quarter one. So here comes the Irish. So here comes the Irish. Um, first down and 10. They're in a full house. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call a run to uh, Heavens. And we're going to see if we can get some a play here. Uh, we're going to uh, run counter. I'm going to run a counter play and try to get it to the right side. We're going to do off tackle right. Here's the play. Here's the handoff, and nothing doing. Uh, Heavens gets nothing. He got back to the defense. line. Oh, but a penalty. penalty. That is a penalty, so it'll be first and five now for Notre Dame at the your own 23. So, so well, let's see what here. I see what happens now. Uh, first down and five. Uh, we're going to call, uh, I think we're going to go to a two wide receiver, two running back. I'm a little bit more used. I know this is probably not how they played at that time. or more full house. Uh, so let's see if we can do something here. Um, we're actually, I'm going to call, um, I'm going to call an eye formation, give the ball to heavens on a trap, on a uh, trap to the right and see what happens. Here's a handoff to heavens and uh, travel to heavens. And he actually didn't get too bad. Got a gain of four. Uh, it's a, it's, it's sort of be second down and one. So he only had first and five. So we'll see uh, how this works out. So first down, and, uh, second down and one now at the 27. Uh, I'm going to stay with two wide receiver, two running back. I'm going to stay in I formation. And I'm going to go an inside run. And I'm going to try to get that to Heavens again. Here's the handoff to Heavens. And Heavens gets stuffed, but it is just a one-yard game. It's a first down. So first down, that's the first first down for the Irish in this game. 10-13, uh, left quarter one. Uh, we're going to go back to the full house. And we're going to, I think we're going to see here, let's, I think we're going to try to make, let's see what we're going to do here. I mean, Slager, I don't really, like I said, I don't know much about this team. I don't know really the strengths and the weaknesses. So I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit playing, uh, playing a game, a little bit handicapped. But we're going to play this team as we, as we would here. And let's see what we got here. So um, full house backfield. I'm going to call Slager. Uh, with a dive play, I'm gonna hand, I'm gonna call the quarterback's number on it. Here's the play. Slager's gonna try to get some yards, and it's a gain of three. Uh, gets the ball to the 31, second down and seven. Uh, we'll stay in the. We're gonna go to a three wide receiver, two running back. Uh, try see if I can do a pass here, a short pass. Try to get it to Kelleher. See what we can do. Uh, and Jordan, they're calling an audible. I'm gonna call the original play call. Uh, back to throw is, 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 is him. He dumps it off, and he struggles for yards. He's taken down by Kyle. Uh, Gil Kyle on the tackle. It's a gain of three. Uh, third down and four for the Irish. Third down and four. Well, let's see. Well, we can go ahead, and we can... Uh, we're going to stay three wide receiver, two running back. Uh, I'm going to stay with a short pass. I'm going to send a man in motion. And we're going to go short pass. We're going to do a slant inside and try to get it to Bergmeier. So let's see what he could do. Back to throw as a quarterback. He's got a, he's got a chance. He throws, but he dumps it to Heavens, but it's an incomplete pass. So it'll be fourth down and four. We're going to it'll be fourth down and four, and we're definitely going to have to punt. So we got at least one first down. So let's go with the punt. Notre Dame kicks it. It's a good punt. It's a beautiful punt. It rolls dead at the six. A punt of 60 yards backs up Georgia Tech uh, back at their own six. Beautiful punt by uh, Joe Restick. So that sets that that puts the Yellow Jackets back there. So now let's see if we can take some, uh, see if we can get something out of there. Let's 4-3 uh, defense. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're probably going to run with this. Um, um, we're going to call a run defense. Uh, I'm gonna go run the line. I'm gonna go aggressive, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run it and see what happens here. Here's the play. 
A run defense is called, and he gets through. He gives it to he gives it to David Sims, who has who cuts through the line. It's a gain of 16, a big gain for the Yellow Jackets. First down and 10. First down and 10 uh, for at the Georgia Tech 22. Uh, we're going to stay with the run defense. Um, uh, we're going to go back. We're going to take off aggressive. Stay normal here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go stay with a run, and I'm gonna go to I'm gonna stay in man coverage. So pretty much a run de or just a basic run defense. Here's the play. It is called, and uh, Stock missed a tackle, and it is Luther Bradley on the play who makes the tackle uh, on uh, David Sims. It'll bring up second down and four for the Jackets. So we'll see uh, what we can do here. Second and four, uh, four three defense. They got uh, one wide receiver. Um, well, I think we could make, we could almost probably go with that. We could almost go with a 4-4 four, four stack if we want. Um, we'll stick with the run, a normal run defense. I'm going to blitz Becker and, uh, stick with a run. Here's the play. You've got the blitz and you draw, it's a draw play to David Sims, but it is Jeff Weston who makes the tackle. It's only a gain of one. So third and three coming up for uh, GT. For those of you who are wondering, this is, again, this is the Rudy game, uh, 1975, Georgia Tech at 75, Notre Dame. This game is at Notre Dame Stadium. Uh, it's 40 degrees. It's a nice, it's actually not a bad day. Uh, there was a little bit of wind, but not much in, in, that I checked when I checked the weather. Uh, third down and three for the Jackets. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to, they got two wide receivers in here. Uh, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay in a four-three, and I'm gonna think they're probably gonna on third down and three. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and probably call a. Uh, I'm gonna call a, a run defense, but I'm gonna blitz Golik uh, just to be safe. Here's the play, Golik, and it's a run defense, and it, it gives it to Sims up the middle. It doesn't matter. He was hammered by Golik at the thirty-three, but even though I did call the right defense, it is a gain of four for Georgia Tech. First down at their own thirty-three. Uh, we'll go to uh, staying a 4-3 defense. Uh, I'm going to stay in a run. Uh, we're going to, um, I think in this case, we're going to bring the line in and stay in a run and stay in a run defense. Here's the play. A run defense is called, and it is Myers who tucks it under himself. But uh, Jim Stock makes the tackle. Second down and eight. Only about a gain of about two. Only about two. Second and eight. Uh, staying in the four-three defense, uh, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay in the coverage there. Um, how about? Mm, uh, I'm gonna stay in the run defense, and I think they're gonna give it. I think they're gonna give it to Sims. I'm gonna keep. Well, nah, uh, nah, I don't think so. We're gonna stick with it because right now Georgia Tech's actually moving the ball on the on this uh, on this Irish club. Um, so a second down and eight. I'm gonna call a run. See what happens here. It is a run, and it's a good one. It's a trap. It's a trap right, and he gave it to a Tony Head. Willie Fry gets the tackle. It was a gain of six. So third down and two. Now for the Jackets at their own forty-one. So what do you call here? I think they're still gonna run this play. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead, bring tight cup, tight cup. Uh, no, I'm going to make it normal. Uh, I'm going to spread, I'm going to spread in and we're going to call that. And we're going to call a run. I'm going to call, uh, I'm going to call, a, I'm actually going to go to a four, four stack. Well, can I do that? No, maybe not. All right. So we'll go back to a four, three. Uh, we're going to go to, uh, and see if we can get the play. So run defense here. Um, let's see what we call. Here's the play. Nope. It's a pass. And it's a bad pass intended for Sims. He was tangled up with Bob Golick. So uh, Notre, so uh, after that, that th I'm, so, I'm actually surprised. Georgia Tech was moving the ball because of the run. Um, but they couldn't uh, do it this time. So uh, we hold them here. And uh, the Jackets will have to punt. We'll call for the return. And uh, should land inside the 15. I'll call a fair catch. See where it winds up as. And yeah, we get, and it makes the catch at the 11. So. We're at the, at the 11 yard line, but that's where Notre Dame will take over. So we haven't had great field position to start with um, in this game. Uh, 5:55 left in quarter one, no score. Um, it was a, I mean, the, the the original final score, I think, the original was what? Uh, I think what? 24 to three or 24 to seven? I'm trying to remember the uh, scoreboard that I saw. Like I said, 1975. 
Um, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to know my football, and in this game, I guess I don't know as much about it, except it was a hell of a movie. First down and 10 for Notre Dame at their own 11. Uh, they're in a full house. They're in a full house play. Um, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go a trap right and try to get it to uh, Heavens. Here's the play handoff to Heavens, and Heavens just gets tackled um, by Lucius Sanford. No gain. So right now we're not making much movement on the running game. So I guess maybe I'm going to have to start throwing here. Uh, full staying in a full house. Uh, we got some tight ends. We're going to go to a short pass. We're trying to get it to McAfee, play action, see if we can get a little help here. Here's the play, back to throw, and he's trying, he throws, he's going to take off with it. Slager couldn't find a receiver. He does get a gain of six. It is third down and four. It is third down and four. So third and four, um, we're going to, we're going to try, we're going to go to a three wide receiver, two running back. Uh, we're going to go a uh, short pass. We're going to go a, me a short hitch, play action, try to, get it to, try to get it to Kelleher, who made the one catch. Here's the play, back to throw, looking, and the pass, it's a short hitch to Kelleher, but he can't hang on. And a huge penalty. So Notre Dame catches a break. We'll get the ball at their own 22 on a huge penalty by Georgia Tech. So first down now at the first down now for the Irish. I don't know. Can I play 80s or 90s football or 2000s football with a 75 football team? I, I'll tell you, this is a little bit tricky here playing this game. First and ten, uh, we're going to go back to the full house. Um, I'm going to see if I can get Parisi to make a play here. Uh, we're going to go. Uh, well, see, here's the completion percentage: 30 percent, 30 percent. There's not much of a chance here, right? Uh, we're gonna go back to stay in the full house. We're gonna give a, we're gonna, gonna go and give him maybe a, a trap right to, um, trap right to Al Hunter. See what he can do. Here's the handoff to Hunter, and Hunter is tackled by, by Red McDaniel. It's a gain of two. Second down and eight. Uh, we're gonna go to a, we're gonna go to a three wide receiver, one running back, uh, trips right. Must have three wide receivers for this. Well, that's what I, that's what I thought I was just doing. So, three wide receivers and trips right. Well, I know that, and see what we can do here. Um, we're gonna do a medium pass. Um, do a medium pass here. We're gonna try a medium cross. Try to get it to a Bergam to Bergemeyer, and see what happens. Back to throw. Back to throw. Looking. 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 He's got it. And uh, Seg is scrambling. He had nowhere to throw with it. It's a two yard gain. So now it brings up third down and six. So it looks like Georgia Tech's pass defense coverage is actually doing a, a pretty pretty good job here in this. It looks like he is. Looks like they are. So third down and six. I can't really get the ball going. Um, can't get the ball going. So third down and six. Um, we're going to go to a shotgun, and we're going to stay in trips right. And uh, we're going to we're going to call a meet. We're going to call a short pass. Short pass and try to get it to, we're going to try to get this to Bergmeier. And we're going to call play action and try to get to Bergmeier. Here's the play. Back to throw. Quarterback looking. Throws. Not a chance. A safety blitz. Play action. Holding. Offense. And an off yard penalty. And that's going to be declined. So, again, I can't get any offense going on. It's going to be fourth down and six. And so we're going to have to punt. So, so we go ahead and punt it. Boom. And this time, Georgia Tech has much better field position to start with. And I'm wondering where he's going. And it's a punt of 44 yards. It's a, not much daylight. Was it looks like a fumble, but uh, Georgia Tech recovered. That could have been a big uh, could have been a big play there. So it was a fumble, but Georgia Tech recovers. No, I'm sorry. We 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 recovered it. I'm I'm not reading this right. Yes, it's a fumble, and Notre Dame recovers it at their own 37. It's been a long day, people. Uh, first down and 10 for Notre Dame in Georgia Tech territory. So a big turnover helps us out, and uh, we'll see what the we'll see what we can do here. Uh, first and 10. Notre Dame's got the ball back to a full house. Uh, I'm going to go to a two wide receiver, two running back. Uh, medium pass and try to get it to. I'm going to see if I can get it to Heavens. Here's the play. Quarterback looking, looking, looking. Throws. It is caught. It is caught. It's it's just short, but it's a gain of ten. 
as Jerome Heavens made the play. And it'll be second down in inches at the Georgia Tech 27. So a huge turnover now has Notre Dame uh, with a shot here. Uh, so we're going to go back to the full house backfield. I'm going to do an outside run and try to get it to Hunt and see if Hunter can make the play. Here's the play. Hand off to Hunter. And Hunter gets nothing. But he did no game, but he did get the first down. So first down for the Irish at the uh, Georgia Tech 27. And we'll see what we and, and uh, we'll see what we come up with here. So uh, we'll have we'll take a shot. Uh, first and ten. Uh, we're gonna go two wide receiver to running back. Uh, I'm gonna call, put a man in motion, medium pass, and try to get this to Kelleher. Here's the here's the play. Quarterback dropping back, dropping back, uh, drop by Rhino, incomplete. And Wilkes was hurt and he broken foot and he I'm pretty sure is uh, done for the game. So a little weakness there. It'll be second down and ten. Amazing how well the quarterback in the in in um in uh in in uh, in the movie looked, right? But I don't think I guess maybe there was some uh, inconsistencies. Well, it was Hollywood, right? Wasn't it? Uh, second down and ten. Uh, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna go three wide receiver running back. I'm gonna try to get ball to Haynes. Uh, it looks like a medium cross pattern might be his best shot. Um, medium cross. Here's the play. Back to throws the quarterback. Looking, looking. Throws, and it's going to be caught. It's a medium into Haynes at 22. He's got it. Tackled by Brown. A pickup of eight. 63% um, chance of making a field goal. That's actually not bad from here. All right, but I need. I would like to get a touchdown. So, third down and two. Third and two. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to a two. I'm going to go to a um, I formation. Uh, we're gonna see if I can get it. To, I'm gonna see if I can get Heavens to play, and we're gonna give it off tackle right. So let's see here. Here's the play. Gonna see if I can run for the first down, and he does. He does. Heavens with the handoff, and it was uh, Danny Rhino on the tackle. But it's a gain of five and a first down for the Irish. So if we can turn this turnover into points, we definitely uh, could. We could really feel good about uh, about this matchup. So let's see here. First down and 10 at the Georgia Tech 14. I'm going to go back to a full house alignment. And I'll see if I can get my tight end of the play. I'm going to go a short slant. There's a the quarterback dropping back to throw. He's looking, and this one's tipped by Rhino. It's incomplete. It was a good pocket, but couldn't really get the play. It'll be second down and 10. Uh, I'm going to go back to three wide receiver, two running back. Uh, we're going to do a motion play. Uh, I'm going to say a... I'm going to say a... Let's see, any specials we can do here? We're going to do a run-pass option to the right, and I'm going to see if I can get it to Bergmeier and see what happens. Here's the play. Quarterback looking, 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 and stuffed. Nothing. Sanford pushed him out about the 14, and there was no gain on the play. So third down and 10. Uh, shotgun motion, and let's do a medium pass and try to get it to Kelleher. Uh, here's the play. Back to throws the quarterback. Slager looking, looking, he's looking, he throws. And he bobbled it. Heavens, he, he tried to dump it off. It's incomplete. It's a fourth down and 10. So we get into the red zone. We can't get the pass. So we have a 71% chance of making the field goal. So at least let's get some points. So we're going to kick the field goal. Here's the snap. Kick is up. It is through the uprights. And Notre Dame will score first. 154 left in the first quarter. Notre Dame 3, Georgia Tech 0. We'll go ahead and kick it off. Boom. And this one's going to be returned. And it looks like it was Hill returning it. But uh, return and uh, Drew Hill was returning it. So uh, it's first down and 10 for the Yellow Jackets, their own uh, 25. So let's see if the Irish defense can uh, hold up here. 4-3 uh, defense. I'm just going to call a run. Basic run play. Here it is. And nope, it looks like they're going to try. It is a, it's a square. It's Myers fakes the handoff. It's a bootleg. Uh, Niehaus makes the tackle of 32. A gain of 7. Georgia Tech was actually still pretty quick, it looks like. It looks like they're faster than uh, Notre Dame uh, in, 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 this, uh, in this matchup. Well, let's see what we got here. Um, first down and second down and three. Stick with a run defense. I'm going to go zone. See if that helps. There's the run. It's off tackle right. It was a handoff to um, 
to it was a handoff to Tony Head, but Tim Simon made the tackle. It's a gain of two, so it's third down and one. Third and one. Uh, we're going to see what we got here. So third down and one. Uh, we'll stay in a four. I think we're going to see a run defense. And I think they're going to probably give it to Sims. So tight coverage. And I'm going to give it a run on the Sims. Here's the play. Here's the handoff. And nope. It was given to Head. And it was Willie Fry who makes a second tackle. But it is a gain of two. Uh, the clock is running here. And I don't know if they're going to call the play. But we're going to, we're going to assume they will. So first and 10 for the Yellow Jackets at their own 36. 4-3 defense. We're going to call a run play, run defense. Here it is. It is a handoff. And even though we called the right handoff, uh, the, the right play, uh, David Sims makes the, gets, a first, gets a gain of 10 yards and a first down. And that's going to be the end of the quarter. So one quarter in the books here in the Rudy game. It's 19, it's, it's in 1975, it's Notre Dame 3, Georgia Tech 0. We'll be right back after these messages, people. Second quarter action, this is 1975, Georgia Tech at 1975, Notre Dame. This is the Rudy game. So, and of course, we're playing this game, and yet Rudy is not on the field. Well, we're going to get him out there. I promise you, we'll get him out there. You just don't know when I'm going to bring him in. That's why, really, you should just watch the whole game, but... We'll see what we do with Rudy. We'll get him out there. Uh, first down and 10 for Georgia Tech at their own 46. They're moving the ball pretty well. It's 3-0 Notre Dame. Now let's see what we're going to do here. Um, I'm going to stay with the run defense. I'm going to go back to man-to-man. -to -man, and I'm going to stay in normal coverage. Let's see if I can stop this running attack. And it's ahead with the handoff, quick trap right. And it is Jeff Weston making his second tackle of the game. Only about a gain of two. It'll be uh, second down and eight. Second and eight. Uh, we'll stay in the 4-3 defense. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, see if we'll go ahead. We're going to stay in man-to-man -man defense. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can send Golik on a blitz, but stay in a run. So I'm going to do a run blitz. False start. And we're going to see a false start on the Yellow Jackets. Repeat, second down. So that makes it second and eight, back to second and 13. New player alert, Pat Moriarty coming in for uh, Georgia Tech. So second down and 13, staying a run defense. I'm going to blitz Golik again just to be sure, just in case to keep him here full house. Golik trying to make the play, and Golik gets the sack. Myers set up in the pocket, but Bob Golick said, excuse me, I have a date with the quarterback, and he just blew him up. Third down and 20. So a great defensive play call by the Irish. And fans here at Notre Dame Stadium, hey, they are, they're, they're, if they're, there are many great fans out there in college football. And as much as I really can't stand Notre Dame myself because of the alumni, but I'll tell you right now, Notre Dame, they probably have the best fans in the entire in the entire nation. I know about say what you want, all you all you Michigan fans, Ohio State, USC, uh, Alabama, Clemson, you know, you know, Oregon, whatever. I, I, Notre Dame, they have the best fans. That stadium is full for every single game, whether Notre Dame is playing Michigan, whether Notre Dame is playing USC, or they're just playing uh, a game against. Uh, Appalachian State or Georgia Southern. It doesn't matter. That stadium is full for every single game. Third down and 20. We're going to go to a pass defense. Just normal pass defense. Here's the play. And Myers had to scramble. He tried to get rid of it. He did get a gain of nine, but Georgia Tech is going to have to punt. So fourth down 11. We'll do a punt return. Here's the punt. And the return gets eh, about two yards. Uh, it was block. receiving team, and once and a pen, and a penalty will move the ball back. So once again, Notre Dame starts in terrible. We've not really had good field position throughout the entire game. So Notre Dame takes over at their own seven. First and ten, uh, full house backfield. We're going to try to run with Hunter and see if we can go off tackle to the. We're going to try. We're going to try off tackle to the left and see what happens here. Um, Notre Dame uh, four three basic short tight coverage. Um, let's call the original play. Here's the play. Here's the handoff. And there's a great play. There's a great play by Hunter. It's off tackle left. Bowen tackled him by the belt. But it is a gain of 11. Gets the ball out to the 18. And that's a first down for the Irish. First and 10. Um, staying in full house. I think we're going we're gonna to go with Browner this time. 
Uh, see with Brown, we're going to try to give him a, um, we'll go off tackle to the right again. Here's the play, handoff to, handoff to uh, Browner, tripped up by Lucius Sanford. That's his fourth tackle today. Uh, gain of two, second down and eight. Uh, we'll go uh, uh, three wide receivers, one running back. We'll have Heaven stay in the block. I'm going to try a medium pass and try to get it to Bergemeyer. And uh, so we'll see if we can get it here to Bergemeyer. Back to throw, looking, 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 throws. It is caught by Bergemeyer on a medium cross. And it was Danny Rhino with the tackle. It is a first down, a gain of nine. So maybe now we can maybe move this ball a little bit. First and 10, Notre Dame 29-yard line. Uh, we'll go back to full, full house. I'm going to see, I'll give, it to, give the ball to Hunter, to Hunter and uh, see if we can move here. We're going to try, I'm going to try a pitch. And it looks like the best play is to send the pitch. Maybe uh, I'm going to send the pitch to the, I'm going to send the pitch to the, to the uh, left. And see what we'll do here. Here's the play. Here's the pitch. And he's going to have himself some running room. A lot of running room. A hell of a play by Al Hunter. Comes up with a big play. A gain of 31 yards. That is a first down for the Irish. So Georgia Tech definitely not ready for that call. So it's first down and 10 now in Georgia at the uh, Yellow Jackets 40. Staying in the full house. Um, I almost want to call the same play, but I'm going to go to Heavens, and I'm going to see if I can get a trap left. Here's the handoff to Heavens, and Heavens is going to pick up a nice gain. He's whipped down by Danny Rhino at the 29, but that's a gain of 11, and another Notre Dame first down. So we get that. We get to the Georgia Tech 29. First down and 10 for the Irish. Now we're, getting, now we're moving the ball a little play. That was a nice gain uh, by Jerome Heavens. First and ten, full house backfield. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a. Um, I'm gonna have Slager make the call here. We'll see if we can make a dive play. So I'm gonna call the quarterback's number. Slager gets nothing. Whipped down by Bowen, no gain. Uh, so it'll be second down and ten. Uh, we're gonna do a two wide receiver, two running back. I'm gonna give the ball to Hunter on a pitch. Give it to the pitch right and see if that'll work again. Here's the play. Here's the pitch to Hunter. Hunter is gonna get about a gain of two this time. As uh, Don Shank makes his fourth makes his fourth tackle, it's a gain of two. It'll be third down and eight. Third and eight for Notre Dame at the Georgia Tech twenty-seven. Uh, we'll go three wide receiver to running back, shotgun motion. Uh, we're going to try a medium pass. Try to get this to Bergemeyer. Back to throw as a quarterback. He's looking. He's looking. He's going to have to scramble. He's not going to get the first down, though. He was tackled by uh, Lucius Sanford. Fifth tackle for him. It's a gain of four. It is uh, fourth down and four. And 72% uh, chance of making a field goal. I think I'll go ahead and just uh, get, the, get the points. So let's see if we can do it. So we'll go for the field goal. Here's the play. Kick is up. It is... No good. Reeve missed it from 40 yards. Kick is up and no good. So Georgia Tech gets the ball back at the 30. So we can't get any points on that play. So first and 10 for the Yellow Jackets. Uh, we're gonna stay in. We're gonna stay in 4-3 defense. I'm gonna call a run. I'm gonna uh, tight coverage and let's see if we can get the play. Here's a run. Defense is called and and it's a reverse to Rabel. He's tackled by Golick. He got back to the line. Sims looks like he's been hurt. He'll be out of a couple plays. But a nice play by the Irish defense. It'll be second and 10. Uh, second and 10. Uh, we'll stay with the run defense. Um, I'm going to go a little conservative on it this time and see what happens here. Bears the play. Here's the pitch. And it is a Myers pitch to, to Moriarty. But uh, Ross Browner makes the tackle. It's his first of the game. No gain. Third down and 10. Um, I expect a pass this time. I'm going to go to 3-3 three, three defense zone, and I'm going to call a pass, and I'm going to send Golik in the middle there. So let's see if we can get a blitz. Golik gets to try to get in there, and Myers fades back the pass, and it is, it, is a, it is Willie Fry coming up with the sack. Loss of six. So the Notre Dame pass rush is just doing it today. It'll be fourth down and 16, and uh, the Yellow Jackets will have to punt. We'll call a punt return. See if we get some good field position finally. And the ball goes out of bounds upon a 42. So the Irish will start with the ball uh, at their own 34-yard line. First down and 10 for uh, Notre Dame. 
Uh, we'll stay with it. We're going to go three wide receiver running back. Uh, I'm going to try a short pass, play action, and try to get to Kelleher. Here's the play. Quarterback dropping, dropping throws. The pass is caught to Kelleher, pushed out by Kyle, a short gain of three. Like I said, any positive yards is 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 good yards uh, in, in a game, and it looks like in a game like this. Second down and seven, uh, three wide receiver, two running back. Uh, I'm going to do a medium pass and try to get this to Bergmeier. Try call and play action, see if that helps. Back to throw is the quarterback. He's looking, he's looking, he throws, and he throws underneath to Hunter, but right through his hands. So it'll be third down and seven. 1970s college football. I gotta tell, I gotta tell you, it's a little bit, uh, it's wacky. Third down and seven. Uh, we'll go three wide receiver, shotgun, center man in motion. Uh, try to get a medium fly. I'm gonna call it to Bergmeier and see if we can get a play here. Back to throw is the court is Slagle. He throws and it's tackled by Ronald, but Bergmeier makes the play. It's a gain of five and a first down for Notre Dame. It's at the Notre Dame 46, first and 10. Um, we'll stay, we'll go back to, get him back on the center, call full house. I'm going to call Browner, and I'm going to try a sweep, a sweep to the right here. Okay, here's the play, here's the handoff. Can he get some yardage? And uh, about nothing. Nope, he went out of bounds. There was nothing there. The looks It looked like the Yellow Jacket uh, defense was definitely there. So, and Dakin, uh, it was uh, Tony Dakin making a second tackle. Uh, no gain. Second and 10. Uh, we'll go back to two wide receiver run running. Uh, actually, we'll go three wide receiver running back. Um, we're going to go, um, we're going to try, uh, see if we can do something here. I'm going to go with a uh, a, re, a a triple option left and go to Heavens here. Here's the play. Back to, here's the play to Heavens. And Heavens is going to get himself some yards. It's a gain of eight. And he's whipped down by Steve Crawford, making his first tackle. This makes it a manageable third down and two. Third and two, back to full house. Um, actually, actually, we're going to make this a um, make it an eye formation. Going to do an inside run, try to give it to um, Heavens for the play. Here's the handoff to Heavens. Can Heavens get the first? No, they were expecting that, and it was Lawton Heydrich who blew him up in the backfield. So fourth down and two, I can't get the first. Uh, it might sound like I'm being conservative. Um, like I said, most of the college football at this time was a lot, was really supposed to be balanced. Um, but it's fourth down and two, and uh, at this stage, I'm still going to punt this ball. So we're going to punt it, and I'm going to try to punt it to the sideline. Here's the punt, and it goes out of bounds, does it? Yeah, it's out of the three. Great punt by Joe Restick. He's had a very good day punting the ball. So Georgia Tech starts with the ball at their own three-yard line, 734 left in the first half. Uh, we're going to call a run defense basic. Here's the play, and it is a run, and, the, and, it's a good, and it's a good run, and it's fumbled, recovered by Sewell, but Georgia Tech will keep possession. The ball is marked at the 14, a gain of 11. So again, Notre Dame's defense can't get them stuffed. At the, near the, near the uh, near their goal line, so the Yellow Jackets get a first down. Uh, we'll go uh, stay in four three defense, and uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, let's see what we can do. Uh, Jeff Weston. Uh, let's see Rudiger get in there for a play. Let's see. Here's what we're gonna say. Run defense. Here's the play. Back to throw. The quarterback looking, looking, looking. Bootleg. No one to run. Hit and stop by Fry. A loss of five. And it's holding on the offense. I'm going to decline that and take up and take it. It'll bring up second down and 15. So uh, there was Rudiger on the play. Uh, there was Rudiger. I'm going to take him. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to uh, take him out and put uh, Weston back in, as Rudiger did get in the game, and he'll probably be back. So Rudiger was on the field, so he was there uh, early in this game. So second down and 15 at the Georgia Tech nine. I'm going to call a, I'm going to go back man coverage, tight man coverage, actually, and call a run defense. Here's the quarterback dropping back to throw into his own end zone, and he has to scramble, but it's going to be, it's going to be Willie Fry making his second sack. So Notre Dame's pass rush is really giving uh, the Yellow Jackets some, some, uh, some fits today. Rudy Allen now comes in at quarterback for the Yellow Jackets. Uh, third down and 18, we'll go pass defense for this. Back to throw is the quarterback. He's looking, he's looking, he's got time, he's got time. He throws, incomplete. Tried to dump it to um, 
Sorry to dump at the price. It'll be fourth down. So Georgia Tech will be punting from pretty close to our own end zone. We should get good field position. Georgia Tech on the punt. And it's going to be returned. Uh, not for much. About a gain of a return about four. So Notre Dame will have their best starting field position, uh, not including the turnover, at the Georgia Tech 47. 639 left in quarter two. So what we do here? Um, let's see. Notre Dame, we got to get this offense going. And uh, full house, uh, we're going to go to Hunter. And we're going to try that pitch play again, see if that will run, run again. So we're going to do a pitch to the right, and we're going to give it to uh, Hunter, see if he can do something. Here's the play. Pitch to Hunter, and Hunter is going to get himself about two, and it looks to have been hurt, and it looks like he might be out for the Yep, he's going to be out for the game. So it's going to be McLean who's going to take over. Uh, for Hunter, but it's second down and eight. Second and eight, three wide receiver, one running back. We're going to go shotgun. We're going to do a medium pass and try to get it to Haynes. Here's the play. Quarterback back to throw. Slagle looking. He's going to throw. This pass is complete. He's got it uh, to Haynes. It's tackled by Brown. It's a gain of six. It'll be third down and two. The last time I tried third and two, I ran for it and didn't make it. So I'm going to try to throw it. So three wide receivers, two running backs. Uh, motion play. Um, I'm going to do a short pass. I'm going to do a. I'm going to do a slant to the inside and try to get it to Bergmeier. We'll do a little play action. To, actually, no play action. We're going to try to get it to Bergmeier. Here's the play. Back to throw is the quarterback. He's looking. The pass is going to be caught by Bergmeier at the 35. Tripped up by Rhino. Gain of six. That's a first down for the Irish. They're at the Georgia Tech 33. First and 10, uh, two wide receiver, two running back. We're going to go I formation. I'm going to go an inside run, try to give it to Heavens. Here's the play. Hand off to Heavens, and uh, Heavens actually gets a good gain here, a gain of five. Uh, Don Shank with his fifth tackle, but Jerome Heavens picks up uh, five good yards, second down and five. Um, we're going to stay with the run. I'm going to stay in the I formation, and uh, I'll go with Heavens again. Uh, this time we'll try a dive play to him. See if we can get some more. Here's the handoff to Heavens. And Heavens, Heavens, he lunges for the marker. He's got it again, a six. It is Steve Crawford with the tackle. First down, Fighting Irish. Uh, see, first down and ten. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, as we're trying to get, we're now deep in Georgia Tech's, uh, ter getting close to the red zone. Uh, we're going to stay two wide receiver running back. Uh, we're going to go with a uh, medium pass. We're going to do a medium fly pattern. Call play action. Try to get it to Kelleher. Here's the play. Slagle, bop, drop him back, drop him back. Play action. He throws, and he couldn't hang on, and Slager was injured on the play. And he is not going to be back, so we lose the starting quarterback. We lose Slager, so now it's going to be, well, uh, if anybody's looking at the screen, I, I'm just wondering if anybody recognizes that name that's on the uh, that that's that that's on the field right there. Yes, in 1975, if this is true, the backup quarterback was some bum by the name of Montana. Uh, Joe Montana, the minus two, 42 pat, probably won't amount to anything. I, I think he's just going to be a bench warmer for the for the for. The, I, I don't think he's got a chance in the NFL. Nah, he's got no chance in the NFL. No chance. Just sit, you know, Joe Montana. Don't even get drafted. He he has no chance. Uh, yeah. Okay. Will this make a difference? We're about to find out. Um, uh, we're about to find out. It's a uh, second down and ten. Uh, we'll do three wide receivers. We're going to do two wide receivers to running back. I'm going to give it to Heavens on an outside on a on a sweep to a sweep to the left, and I'm going to give it to Heavens. So let's see if we can get some yards. Hand to Heavens. Heavens is going to get nothing. Matter of fact, he's going to lose two. So whipped down by Sanford at 24. Loss of two. Third down and 12. So again, Notre Dame knocks on the door, but Georgia Tech refuses to let us enter. Third down and 12. Uh, we'll do three wide receiver, two running back. We're going to do trips to the left. Uh, shotgun motion. We're going to try to get a pass here. I'm going to go medium out and try to get it to uh, Bergmeier. So here's the play. Back to throw is Joe Montana. Montana it throws, dumps it to Heavens, tipped by Brown, incomplete. Yeah, Joe, Joe Montana. Yeah, you're just you're going to be you're just a nothing. You're not, you're not going to amount to anything. I don't think. Um, fourth down and twelve. Uh, Notre Dame has got fourth and twelve. We're going to try another field goal. Sixty-eight percent chance to make it. So we're going to try it. So we'll see if we can get it this time. Here's the play. 
The kick is up, and I don't think so. Nope. No good. Reeve cannot make a field goal. So Georgia Tech takes over at their own 31-yard line. It is still Notre Dame 3, Georgia Tech 0, and threes are wild left in the second quarter. Notre Dame defense will go stay in a run defense. Danny Myers is back uh, into the game for Georgia Tech. Uh, we're going to stay man coverage and call a run defense. Here's the play. Nope, looks like it's going to be a pass. He's going to have to scramble with it. And it's a bootleg, triangle the quarter, and it is Doug Becker who makes his fourth tackle, tackling Danny Myers, but it was a gain of nine. So the, so the Yellow Jackets get to the 40, second and one. Uh, I'm going to stay in a run defense. I'm going to go to a tight man, and I'm going to blitz Golick just to see what happens here. Here's the play. Golick, uh, Myers tucks it out the middle, and it is, it is once again Doug Becker with his fifth tackle. No, I'm not going to call a timeout. Um, it'll be third down and two. It's a loss of a yard. Third down and two, loss of a yard. Um, we're gonna do um, third. We're gonna stay with a run defense, uh, tight man coverage, and we're gonna have Golick again. We're gonna have Beck. We're gonna have Golick again up the middle. See if he can make a play. Here's the play. Here's the play. Golick looking, 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 and not a chance. Golick was blitzing. Myers faked the handoff. Not a chance. Willie Fry makes his sixth tackle, and it is a loss of two. Notre Dame will not call a timeout. Fourth down, and once again, the Yellow Jackets will have to punt. The Notre Dame defense is being very stingy. So we'll try to call for a punt return. And here's the return, and nothing doing. It was Simon who caught it. But um, but it is Tierney who makes the play, a three-yard return. But Notre Dame starts with the ball at their own 23-yard line. So we'll start we'll we'll start there. Look at the stats here. Georgia Tech no yards passing. I guess that's because Georgia Tech is not passing the ball. They're 0 for three for passing. Uh, Notre Dame actually eight for 17, 54 yards. We've been running the ball a little better, but uh, we're just not getting in the end zone. That that's the thing here. We're just not getting in the end zone. First and 10 with 207 left. Uh, we do get the football start. Since we did defer, uh, we get the football starting the second half. So um, let's see what we could do here. Um, we're going to go to a three wide receiver, two running back. I got to throw this ball here. See, Montana's throw the quarterback. Let's see how good this bum's going to be. Uh, we're going to do a medium pass and try to get it to McLean. Montana dropping back to throw. He's looking. And the pass, and drove by ball, and he dropped it. McLean had it. And they're going to get the flag. First down. They're going to get the flag. That's a nine-yard penalty, but a first down for Notre Dame. First and ten. Uh, we'll go to uh, two wide receivers, two wide receivers, two running back. I'm going to get the ball to uh, Heavens, see what he can do. We're going to do a off tackle to the left. Here's the play. Hand off to Heavens, and it's uh, gain about one. Nothing much there. Uh, second down and nine. We're not going to do a hurry up here. Um, you're up 3 nothing, and you're just trying to move the ball here. Uh, we'll go three wide receiver, two running back, uh, motion play. Uh, we're going to do trips to the left. And we're going to do a try a, a long slant and try to get it to Bergmeier. Montana back to throw. Can he make a completion? Yes, he can. Joe Montana, deep in the pocket, stepped him through to Bergmeier. It was a gain of 29, and that is a first down. And, yes, uh, we will call a timeout. We have two timeouts remaining, but are now at the Georgia Tech 38. So Joe Montana gets a big pass play. Oh, well, maybe he maybe he does have a future in the NFL. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Got to see more out of him before I draft this guy. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's better suited for just, just, a, just a regular college kind of guy. I don't know. Joe, Joe Montana? Uh, nah, I don't know. Uh, first down and 10 for the Irish, the Georgia Tech 38. Uh, stay three wide receiver, two running back. Uh, we're going to go now to trips right. And we're going to stay with a, we're going to do a medium pass. Try to get this to uh, Kelleher. We're going to call a little play action, see if that helped a bit. Back to throw is Montana. He throws. This pass is caught. It's a bullet to Kelleher. And he gets this. Kyle gets a stop. On the field. Defense. Five yard penalty. And they're going to, and we're going to decline, and we're going to decline that. So that's a first down for Notre Dame now at the Georgia Tech 24 with 110 left to play. Clock stops. Clock stops. Uh, we'll do a, um, let's see here. We'll call. We're gonna stay three wide receiver, two running back. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do motion. We're gonna do a medium slant and try to get it to Kelleher. 
Here's the play. Marino, Montana looking. He throws. And it's a slant to Keller. Drilled by Kyle. He bobbled it. He couldn't hold on. It'll be second down and 10. One minute left in the half. Um, second and 10. Uh, let's we'll see here. We'll keep it as it is. We're going to go back to a... Um, we're going to go back to uh, trips left. Uh, medium pass and see if I can get the ball. See if I can get it to Bergmeier again. Here's the play. Montana backing, looking, 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 looking. He throws underneath to Kelleher. It's incomplete. He had to scramble. He couldn't. He had to. He had to get scramble it. So third down and ten. Sixty-eight percent chance of making a field goal here. And so far, Reeve has been awful. So third. I mean, it's one for three of field goals here for Notre Dame. Third and ten. Um, we'll do shotgun and we're gonna do a uh, I formation. I formation, shotgun, split backs. Uh, let's see. We're going to try a um, put the man in motion. And let's see what we got here. We'll try a uh, let's do a medium hitch. And a quarterback must pass and get it to let's see if we can get it to Kelleher. Here's the play. Montana looking, looking, looking. Fires. It's caught. It's caught. Kelleher with the catch inside the 10. Pulled down by Kyle. That's a first down, a gain of 16. Yes, you'll call a timeout now. So 33 seconds up in the half. Notre Dame first in goal. First down in goal. Let's see here. What do you do here for the Irish? Now a field, a field goal looks pretty good here, but you want to get points. You got to shoot for this. Uh, third, three down, three wide receivers, two running backs. I'm going to go three wide receiver, one running back, and get McAfee as a tight end in there. Could be useful. Uh, media. We're going to do a uh, stay a shotgun. Um, we're going to do put a man in, actually not a man in motion, but I'm going to medium pass. And I'm going to see if, uh, I'm going to try to get the ball to Haynes. Maybe he can make a play. Uh, turn off quarterback must pass. See if I can get to Keller. Here's the play. Montana looking, looking, looking. Fires. And it is no good. Incomplete. Rhino was all over him. Bergermeyer wants an offensive card. And he's going to get it. Automatic. First he's going to get pass interference. And that puts the ball at the one. That puts the ball at the one with 17 seconds left. 17 seconds. We're going to go to a full house. No shotgun. We're going to go ahead and bring it up there. We're going to see if I can punch it in. I'm going to, actually, we're going to go instead of that. I'm going to go I formation. I formation, two I receiver, uh, two running back. We'll go I formation. I'm going to see if I can get the hand. We'll see if we can get the ball in there. We got time to make a play. I got one timeout left. We're going to do a um, we're going to do a dive play, and I'm going to try to get it to Heavens. Here's the play. The handoff to Heavens, and Heavens is in there on the dive play. Touchdown, Irish. Ba 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 ba. Notre Dame gets a big touchdown, and the quarterback of the Irish right now is some bum by the name of Montana. I still don't think the guy's going to make any difference in the NFL anyway. Whatever. We'll go ahead and try the extra point. And he missed it. Man, Reeve, I got to tell you, you definitely don't have, you definitely do not have, okay, hope in the NFL. Misses the extra point. Let's hope they don't bite us in the butt. Seven seconds left in the half. We'll go ahead and kick it. We're just going to do a uh, squib kick on this one. See where it winds up as. It's returnable. And it's uh, it's not much room to run. Tackle by Harris at 36. But that is the end of the first half. So uh, we'll get the ball second half. But that's at halftime, people, here at Notre Dame, at Notre Dame Stadium. It's, it's the 1975 Rudy game. Notre Dame 9. Georgia Tech Zero. We'll be right back in a moment, everyone. We will receive here to start the third quarter in the Rudy game here. Uh, 1975, Georgia Tech at Notre Dame. Uh, Notre Dame leads 9 nothing. Uh, let's take a look at some of the stats. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see what kind of uh, stats we come up with. Uh, Notre Dame, 17 first downs. Georgia Tech with 6. Uh, Notre Dame actually has been throwing the ball pretty well, 11 of 22, uh, 50%. Uh, there's, a, there's a new quarterback in there for Notre Dame. His name is Joe Montana. As I said, some bum will probably never amount to anything in the NFL. Probably just a scrub, you know. Never, no, no, he won't mean anything. Uh, so let's uh, let's get back to the game here. Uh, we will receive, so Georgia Tech will will, punt, will kick it off. We'll do a return. 
and this is returned, and it's a heck of a return. A very good, big, nice return by by Dan not Oh, but an illegal block will bring it back. So Notre Dame, a great return, but illegal block brings it again back to the Notre Dame nine. Man, just can't get, just can't get out of our own zone. But we do lead nine nothing. Uh, Rudiger was already in one play. He didn't ma didn't make it didn't make a difference, and yeah, I'll still be bringing him in. So we got to watch the game. You'll see him when I put him in there. Uh, so so he's already he was, he was already on the field for a play. Uh, we'll see. Might wonder if he can make a tackle. That's the question. Can I actually can I actually make a play? First down and ten for Notre Dame at their own nine. Uh, we're, they're in a full house. I'm going to go with an outside run. Try to get it to Heavens. Heavens on outside run. And a good, good defense called by Georgia Tech, hammered by Freeman Colbert, his second tackle, a loss of two. And it brings up second down and seven. Got to be careful here if you're the Irish. You're deep in your own territory. You're up 9 nothing, And really should be more, but unfortunately, uh, Notre Dame's field goal kicker uh, will not be playing for this team next year. Uh, then again, I don't know if he did in nineteen seven for the 1976 Irish. Uh, second down and 12, uh, we'll do two wide receiver, two running back. Uh, we're going to do a medium pass, try to get it to uh, Kelleher. Um, they're calling a 4-2 nickel defense. Instead, I'm going to call it dive to heavens. Nope, I call it pass. Here's the play. Montana's going to throw incomplete. Intended for Kelleher. Call him the coverage. I just pressed the wrong button, but luckily it didn't hurt us. Third down and 12, three wide receiver, two running back. Uh, they're going to try to get it to Bergenmeyer. Uh, looks like his best play is a medium cross. We'll do play action and to a medium cross. Here's the play. Montana back to throw. He's looking. He's looking. He throws. Not a chance. Incomplete. Bergmeier couldn't come up with it. As I said, this guy, Dan Marino, uh, uh, Joe Montana, just doesn't. I, I just think he's a bum. Uh, we're going to have to punt. So we punt the ball deep with uh, Rhino. So he has the punt. Boom. And it's a not that great a punt. Well, actually, not actually pretty good. 51 yards, uh, return of four, so 47 net punt. So Georgia Tech takes over at their own 46, first and 10. Uh, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets are having some definitely difficulty. Uh, they're running. They're actually 83 yards running, but they can't pass. So I got to stay in the run defense. So 4-3 defense. I'm going to call a run, basic run. Here is the play. Georgia Tech uh, hands it off to Sims, right off tackle. It's a loss of a yard. That was Jim Stock on the tackle. And that will be second down and 11. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Jeff Weston comes out. In comes Dan Rudiger. Here comes Rudy. 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 Uh, we'll call a man defense. We'll call it tight. And we'll call a run. Here's the play. Quarterback dropping back to throw. He's looking. He's looking. And Myers, he fakes the handoff. Bootleg tackle by Fry. It's a loss of three. Willie Fry has his seventh tackle. It'll be third down and 14. Third and 14 for Georgia Tech at their own 42. Uh, I'm going to keep Rudy in there for another game, for another play. Um, I'm going to keep him in there. Uh, third, uh, so, so third down and 14. Uh, we'll stay, we're going to stay, at, we're going to go to pass defense. We're going to go zone. I think they're going to throw. Here's the play. And here comes Rudy. Here comes Rudy. And nope. And Brown will rip the ball out, but Georgia Tech maintains possession. There's a loss of seven. But it'll be fourth down and 21. And uh, the the ja jackets will definitely have to punt, so we'll call a punt. Re we'll call a, a punt return. Here's the play. It is returned, and coupled with the tackle, four yard return, a punt of 39 yards. So Notre Dame gets the ball at their own 30. So now you got a little bit better, um, a little better chance there now, better to play to play with. First down and 10 Irish at their own 30. Uh, full house. We're going to do a uh, off tackle left. Try to give it to McLean. See if McLean can get some yardage. Here's the handoff to McLean. And McLean actually gets a gain of five. Um, Heavens was hurt a little bit, but he'll make it in the game. But it's a five yard gain. Moves the ball to the 35. Second down and five. Um, we're going to stay in it. We're going to go to a two wide receiver, two running back. Um, we're going to go uh, motion play. I'm going to look at a quick, I'm going to look at a uh, short cross pattern, try to get it to Bergmeier. And Joe Montana back to back to back back, and he gets and he gets dropped. He gets sacked by Rick Gibney. That's his first sack. Notre Dame four for thirteen on third downs today. It'll be third down and nine. Three wide receiver, two running back, shotgun. We're gonna go long pass. Try to go 
We're going to do quarterback must pass and try to get it to Kelleher. Here's the play. Back to throw is Montana. Looking, looking, looking. Does he have time to throw? He's got all the time. He throws long, deep. It is intercepted. Intercepted by Harper Brown. That's his first interception. And it's a return of 23 yards. As I said, yeah, Joe Montana just a bum. But Georgia Tech will get the ball at the Notre Dame 40. So they got some. They got. Uh, they got a play here. Uh, Dan Rudiger will come out. Weston will come back in. And it's first down and ten for the Jackets. Uh, run defense. I'm going to send Golick up there. See what he can do. Here's the play. It's a run around, and it's a big run around. It was Myers running. He got a block. He needs a block. He got it on the edge. It's a gain of 12. So so they get down to the Notre Dame 28. And it'll be first down and 10. First and 10 jackets. Uh, we're going to stay in the run defense. Here's the play. Another handoff. This time, uh, Notre Dame gets it right. And now Golick is hurt. He's limping off. He'll be back out for a few plays. Uh, Four-yard gain for the Yellow Jackets. Second down and six. Uh, we'll stay in a 4-3 defense, go back to man coverage, um, tight, and call a run. Here's the play. It's a handoff. And does does he make a play? Uh, the hand was off to head, but Browner was angled him on the play. No game. That's the third tackle by Ross Browner. Uh, third down and six. Third and six uh, for uh, Georgia Tech at the Notre Dame 24. They're, they're pretty much in field goal range. Third and six. I think we're going to stay. We're going to go a pass, but we're going to be careful with that. Uh, we're going to call it. We're, actually, no, I'm going to stick with the run defense, uh, tight coverage, and try to call a run. Here's the play. Quarterback dropping back to throw. He throws. It's intercepted, and he's got room. Lots of room. 40, 30, and gets tackled at the 20, a return of 61 yards. It was Tom Lebensky on the interception. On his first interception of the year, and Notre Dame is back in business. They're at the Georgia Tech 20. Tom Lebensky, first interception. What a play by the Irish. So they got first down and 10. Joe Montana out there at quarterback. Full house. Let's see if they can make a play here. We're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do a sweep right. Try to give it with Heavens. Here's the play. Hand off to Heavens. Can Heavens get some yards? And he gets a... Yeah, that's pretty bad. He gets a gain of four on the play. He was stripped by Dakin, but he recovers it. But Notre Dame maintains possession. So it'll be second down and six. Two wide receiver, two running back. Uh, we're going to do a short pass and try to get it to Bergemeyer. Montana back to throw. Looking, he throws. This pass is caught! By Bergemeyer, completed the eight. He got the first down, gain of 11. Another first and goal for the Fighting Irish. First down and 10 at the Georgia Tech 5. The Notre Dame defense has been doing it today. They've been keeping Georgia Tech pretty much shut down. So we'll see if Notre Dame can punch it in here. First and goal at the 5. Two wide receiver, two running back. Uh, we're gonna do a. Uh, we're gonna do I formation. We're gonna do a. We're gonna do a trap right and try to get it to heavens. Here's the play. Hand off to heavens and he's in for the score. He's in for the score and touchdown for Jerome Heavens and that is his second touchdown in this game. So the turnover really hurts the Yellow Jackets. And now we'll see if Reeve can actually put the ball through the uprights. This time he does. Wow, I'm pretty sure Dan Devine went, Devine went to him and said, um, yeah, that, that's what you're supposed to do there, uh, Dave. So the extra point is good. 9.15 left in quarter three. It is 16-0 Notre Dame over Georgia Tech in the 1975 Rudy game. We'll go ahead and do a kickoff. And it is taken back. Here's the return. And Hill had it, got it to nine. Illegal block. Receiving team. 
And that's going to move it back even, fur and even further. So Georgia Tech will start at their own 14 as uh, Drew Hill tried to bring it back there. First down and 10 for the Yellow Jackets. We're going to stay in a, we're going to stay in a run defense. We're going to stay tight coverage, run defense. Here's the play. Here's the handoff. And nothing doing. Uh, Myers gave it to uh, Tony Head, who just got stuffed by Steve Niehaus. That's his fourth tackle today. Second down and 10 for uh, the Yellow Jackets. Staying in a run defense. And we're going to, let's see here. Jeff Weston in comes. Uh, here comes Rudiger. Dan Ru Rudy Rudiger. Rudy. 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 So second down and 10. Staying in a run deep. We're going to stay in a run defense. We're going to stay in tight coverage. See who can make a play. Here's the play here. Here's the handoff. And it's a good handoff. Uh, Harrison missed the tackle around the end. Cuts past. Bob Golick made the stop at 23. It was a gain of nine. It was a gain of nine. So third down and one. Uh, we'll go ahead. Rudy will come out. Let's see here. Rudy comes. Let's see. Rudy comes out. Weston goes back in. Rustin goes back in on third down and one, and uh, we'll see what we can do here. Um, third down and one, we're going to call a run defense. We'll go tight up there. Let's see if we can get him. See if we can get him. Here's the play. It's a pass instead. The quarterback's running. He's got scrambling, and he does. And Myers gets a bootleg and just gets it. It was a gain of 18. That's one of the longer runs that Georgia Tech has made today. That is a first down for the Yellow Jackets. They get the ball their own 41-yard line. First down and 10. Uh, run defense again, basic. Here's the handoff. Nothing doing. Uh, Tony Head got a trap right, but it is Jeff Weston making his third tackle. It'll be second down and ten. So second and ten now for the for the Yellow Jackets. Staying in a run defense. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send Golik in there, see if he can make a play. Here's the play. Here comes Golik. He's holding uh, the blitz. Uh, what pitch right to Tony Head? It was tripped up by Willie Fry. He gets his eighth tackle in this ball game. Third down and seven, a gain of three. Third down and seven, a gain of three. Um, we'll go to. We'll see what Georgia Tech wants to do. We'll stay in a run defense. Uh, we'll stay in a man coverage. We'll be. We're going to go tight in and see what we can do it here. Th uh, third and seven. Run defense. Here's the play. Quarterback dropping back to throw. And he's got to scramble with it. And he's gets a, he gets a gain of 14 and another Yellow Jackets first down. So Myers is doing all the pretty much all the running today. Nothing much for Head or Sims. It's Myers doing it all there. So first down now at the Notre Dame 42. First and 10. Uh, we'll stay. We're going to stay regular here. We're going to go with a run defense again. Here's the play handoff, and this one is, and the sweep left with Sims. Not much. No pick out. No pickup. Ross Browner picks him up of the tackle. That's a fourth tackle of his of the game today. Second down and ten. Uh, we'll uh, stay with the four three defense. Looks like nobody's tired yet. Uh, we'll do a. We'll stay with the run. And we're just going to call basic run defense. I might. I think I could send Becker up the blitz just to make sure. Here's the play. Quarterback dropping back. He's got some time. And Niehaus knocked the ball out. Covered by Urchek. Georgia Tech maintained possession. It is a loss of one. It was a fumble. But it's third down and 11. So third and 11. Um, let's see. We're only up, we're up uh, 16 to 0. Uh, let's go ahead and... Um, we're going to go with a pass defense here. We're going to go zone coverage on a pass. And I'm going to call a 3-3 nickel. Here's the play. Quarterback dropping back to throw. He's looking. He's looking. And Niehaus brings him down. A loss of 11. He blew him up. Myers got blown up. Steve Niehaus with his first sack. And Danny Myers 0 for 3 in passing. Got just blown up there. Fourth down and 22. And once again, uh, the Yellow Jackets will have to punt. We'll call a punt return. And we're gonna, and it says it's gonna be, uh, should land inside the fifteen. I'm gonna call a fair catch on this one. Here's the punt, and it's not, and that's pretty much where it lands at the fourteen punt of forty yards. Notre Dame sixteen, Georgia Tech zero. They get the ball at their own uh, fourteen yard line. Uh, a couple of the, the Georgia Tech has two turnovers. Notre Dame has one. So let's see what Joe Montana can do here. Montana only in because Slagle was hurt. Okay, so um, we'll see what he can do. First down and 10. They're in a full house. 
Uh, we'll do a, um, we're going to try to get Heavens the ball, and we're going to see a trap right here. Hand off to Heavens, and Heavens is going to pick up some yardage. He's going to pick up a lot of yardage. That's a gain of 21, as it was Don Besselu who finally brought him down. Wide open field, great play by Jerome Heavens. He has 71 yards rushing today. And first down at the 35. First and 10, staying in the full house. Uh, we'll go, we're going to see if we, I'm going to see if I get McAfee into the play here. Uh, looks like the best play would be to him would be a short hitch. So we're going to do a short hitch pattern here. Here's the play. Montana dropping back to throw. He's, and Montana's going to have to scramble. He's brought down by Colbert, a gain of two. Third tackle of the game for uh, Freeman Colbert. Second and eight at the 37. Uh, we'll go two wide receiver, two running back. Uh, I'm going to do a medium hitch and try to get it to, looks like McLean might be the call. Play action to McLean. Here's the back Montana looking, looking, fires, incomplete. And it was a great play by Lucius Sanford with the deflection. It'll be third down and eight. Third down and eight at the Notre Dame 37-yard line. And I'm going to see, I'm going to call a shotgun motion, and I'm going to see if I can just bomb this. So I'm going to, so uh, let's see, I'm going to call a bomb and see if we can just get somebody down there. So let's see what Montana can throw. Uh, if it's intercepted, it works like a punt. So here's the play to Bergenmeyer. Back to throw is Montana. Does he have the time? Montana throws, incomplete. He tried to get it to McLean. Nothing doing there. So it's fourth down, and Notre Dame will be forced to punt it away. So we call a punt. It'll be Rhino doing it. Boom. And it's a not bad. Pretty good punt. Uh, punt of 51 yards, a five-yard return. So the Yellow Jackets get the ball at their own 17, first and 10 for the Jackets. And we'll see what happens here. So 318 left to play in quarter three. Uh, staying in a 4-3 defense, we'll go with run, go back to man coverage, uh, run defense. Here's the play, a handoff. And it's a and uh, it was a handoff to Tony Head, spun down by Niehaus. That was a gain of four. Steve Niehaus has seven tackles on the game today. Georgia Tech, zero oh for four, no passing yards at all, and a pick. But they are running 124 yards. But six penalties too on the Yellow Jackets have really hurt them in this game. A uh, couple of reasons why Notre Dame is up 16 to nothing. Second down and six. We'll stay with a run defense. Uh, we're going to go back to his zone defense, see what happens here. Here's the play. Nope, it's going to be a pass, and he's going to get, and Myers faked out as a bootleg, but Niehaus has him, no gain. Eight tackles now for Steve. Newhouse will be third down and six. Third and six, we'll go 3-3 three, three nickel. Uh, we'll go man-man coverage. We're going to be staying normal, and we're going to, I'm going to have Becker do the blitz and call a pass. Here's the play. Becker trying on the blitz, and... Here's the pass. It is intercepted. Becker nails Miles. He throws. It's intercepted by Tom Lipensky. But a roughing the passer penalty kills the whole play. Wow. It gives Georgia Tech the ball back at, the, at their own 36. It is a first down. That could have been the nail in the coffin. The way Notre Dame's defense is playing, Georgia Tech just can't get it going here. So first down and 10 now at their own 36. Uh, we'll stick, we're going to go back to a run defense, go back to zone, spread in, see what happens here. Run defense. Here's the play. It is a draw play and nothing doing. Draw to Sims, and it is Steve Niehaus again. That's nine tackles from today. Second down and 10. Second and 10, staying in zone. Um, we're going to stay in 4-3 defense. Uh, we're going we're gonna to keep, we're going to keep, we're going to move the line in. And we're going to call a run. Here's the play. Back to here's the run around, end around. And he gave it as a counter to the Sims. He swoops to the left. Brian missed the block. Bob Golick just makes a blast at, blast at the 33. It's a loss of three. Bob Golick with seven tackles. Yeah, we know who he is, too. Another bum. Uh, third down and 13 for Notre Dame. Uh, uh, let's see here. Rudy. 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 Uh, we bring Rudy in here for for a third down and 13. Uh, we're going to go to a pass defense, go 3-3. Three, three, uh, no, we're going to go 4-3 uh, basic. Uh, we'll go man-to-man, -man, and we're going to call a pass. And we'll see if what happens here is a pass play. Uh, back to throw is the back to throw. Here comes Rudy. Can Rudy get a play? Can Rudy is the play? And it's intercepted. This time, this is not going to. 
This is not going to come in. It is intercepted by intercepted by Luther Bradley. It's an interception return for a touchdown, and that should probably do it. Intercepted return for a touchdown by Luther Bradley, who makes the play. And now Notre Dame is really pouring it on Georgia Tech. We're going to kick the extra point. It's good. So Reeve gets an extra point, and Georgia and Notre Dame right now. That defense is three, two interceptions now by George there, and another big turnover return for points. Fifty-eight seconds left in quarter three. It's Notre Dame twenty-three, Georgia Tech zero. We'll go ahead and kick the ball deep. Here's the return, and not much room for Hill, and it was. It was Heimkreider on the stop at the 24, return of 17 yards. So first down and 10 at the G, at the Georgia Tech 24, 37 seconds left. I'm going to keep Rudiger in the game for the rest of the quarter. Uh, run defense, we're going to call here, 4-3 defense. Here's the play. Here's the run. And he's hit and stopped by Browner at the 27. Ross Browner with his fifth tackle. The clock is running, second down and seven. Uh, we're gonna go to. We're gonna stay in a four-three. We're gonna stay in a uh, four-three defense. Uh, we'll go zone coverage and now call a pass. Here's the play. Nope, it's gonna be a pitch out. This is gonna get some yards, and it does. But the tackle is made by Rudy. 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 Rudy makes the tackle, and to end the quarter. Yes, you heard that right. Let's see that again. Here's the play. It's a pitch out, and the tackle is made by Rudy Rudiger. There you see it there. Dan Rudiger on the stop. It is a first down, a gain of 10, but Rudiger makes the tackle. So he gets credit for a tackle and does what he had to do, at least make a play, and he did that. So, Rudy. We'll be back in a moment as we get at the end of three quarters. It's Notre Dame 23, Georgia Tech 0. We'll be right back, people. Going into the fourth quarter, Notre Dame is up on Georgia Tech, 23 to nothing in the Rudy game. Uh, Dan Rudiger made a tackle there. You see it right there. One tackle. He did the job. I'm going to take him out, put Weston back in there. As he did his job right there, I'll probably bring him back in here. I mean, it is 23 to nothing. I could probably have him finish the game out, but we're still going to, we still got a game here to play. I mean, anything can happen. Uh, Georgia Tech does have the ball at their own 37 yard line. It is a first down. Uh, we're going to call a run defense, just to stay in the zone. Nope, this is going to be a pass. And uh, Myers fakes the handoff. It's another bootleg, but it's a Doug Becker with his sixth tackle. It's a loss of three. Second down and 13 uh, for the Yellow Jackets. Now back at the 34. Uh, we're going to go to 3-3 nickel defense, and now I'm going to go man coverage and now go to a pass defense. Back to throw is Myers. He's going to throw. This pass is caught. To medium slant to Brees. It's spun down by Lopensky. It's 11 yard gain. It's third down and two. That is the first Georgia Tech completion of this game. Third down and two. Lopensky with a second tackle on the play. Third and two. We're going to stay 4 3 defense. I think they're going to, I think they're still going to pass this. Going to go to zone. I'm going to blitz goal. I'm going to blitz Golick and Becker. Go for a pass. Here's the play. Here's the play. Not a chance. Golick blows him up. Bob Golick, two sacks today, loss of eight. No chance on a double blitz from no chance on that, on that. No chance. Golick just blew him up. I hate to say this. They're still picking, uh, they're right now bringing out the spatula. Fourth down and 10. Georgia Tech will have to punt, and we'll call a punt, and, uh, it should land inside the five at 15. I'll call a fair catch. You're up 23 to nothing. There's no need to be uh, cute. And makes the catch at the 10. 1331 left to play. Uh, Joe Montana at quarterback. The Notre Dame defense has been the ones doing everything all so far in this in, in this matchup. First and 10. Uh, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with uh, stay with the full house, Heavens, and we're gonna do an off tackle right. Uh, Georgia Tech defense, 4-3 defense. Um, I'm going to continue with the original play play call. False and a false, false start pass. on the Irish. Penalty. Repeat, first down. False start on the Irish. We'll move the ball uh, 
back to the five. So now it's a little tricky. Uh, full house. Uh, now I think we'll go two wide receiver, two running back. Uh, we'll go I formation, motion, and we're going to do a, uh, in, a dive play and just try to get some run and run. Hand off to McLean. McLean gets the ball, and he gets stuffed. He gets stuffed. Freeman Colbert on the tackle for Georgia Tech. That's his uh, fourth tackle today. It'll be second down and 14. Being up 23 to nothing, you just got to be a little conservative here. Uh, you know right now that Georgia Tech just can't move the ball at this They just can't move the ball. So you got their defense handling things. Uh, two wide receivers, two running back. Uh, outside run, try to get it to Heavens. Here's the play. You got pitch to Heavens, and Heavens barely gets out the end zone. Barely gets out the end zone. Shank tackles him. It's a loss of four. Third down and 18 at the Notre Dame two. Boy, I was close. Uh, we're going to do a dive play and try to get it to Heavens. Just get some yards for the for the play. And Heavens actually gets a few yards, a seven-yard gain, pretty much back to the no, the original line of scrimmage it was. But it's fourth down 11, Notre Dame, they'll have to punt. Here's the punt. Georgia Tech should get some decent field position. And they pretty much do. It's a punt of 44 yards. Georgia Tech has the ball at their own 49-yard line, 12.07 left to play. Should I bring Rudy in to play the rest of the game? It is a 23 and nothing lead, um, but we still, but you're still trying to win a ball game here. Um, first down, first. Even though Rudiger did make a play, um, hmm. First down and ten. I think you're going to be passing, so we're going to go to pass defense, uh, man coverage, pass. Nope, this one's a handoff. But it doesn't matter. Tony Head is brought down by Bob Golick at the 50th game of one. Bob Golick with nine tackles. He has just been an absolute monster uh, today. Absolute monster. Second down and nine. Um, second down and nine. Uh, four three defense. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna. We're gonna call a pass on this play back to zone pass. And it is. A, and it looks like it's a bootleg. There it goes. There he goes. And Myers gets nothing. It's another tackle by Ross Browner. Six tackles today. Third down and nine. Uh, we'll stay with cover. We're going to go with tight coverage. And we're going to call a pass defense again. Uh, spread it out. Here's the play. Myers throwing back, looking back, and looking back. And Browner this time just blows him up. Loss of nine. Two sacks for Ross Browner. Georgia Tech's offensive line is just not catch is just not doing it today. That's a fourth down and 18. Georgia Tech will have to punt, and we're gonna call a we're gonna we're gonna call we're gonna call we're gonna let it roll. Goes inside the 10, see where it ends ends up at. Nope, it's gonna wind up at it's dead at the 10. So once again, Notre Dame with not great field position at the 10 yard line. But 10.57 left to play. Georgia Tech just absolutely doesn't have anything uh, for the Irish in this game. First down and 10 for Joe Montana and uh, and for the Irish. Uh, let's do a uh, run right and try to get it to Heavens. Here's the handoff to uh, Heavens, Jerome Heavens, tackled by, um, by Tony Dakin. That's his fifth tackle. It'll be second down and 10. Uh, just not getting the running game. I think we'll switch to a two wide receiver, two running back. Uh, we'll do a uh, medium pass to Kelleher play action, or Bergemeyer actually. Back to throw is Montana. And he makes a play. It's caught. He drops back to pass, and Bergmeyer catches at the 25. Rhino with the stop. Gain of 17, and a personal foul will add that. So it moves the ball all the way up to the Notre Dame 42. Well, maybe, maybe this, maybe, maybe this Joe Montana will uh, amount to something. I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe, maybe below average quarterback. Something. I don't know. Maybe this Joe Montana will amount to something. I, I don't know. I don't know what Eric Parsegan saw in the guy anyway. First down and ten for the Irish at the Notre Dame forty-two. Uh, let's see what we're gonna do here. We're gonna do a. Uh, we're gonna stay two right receiver, two running back. Uh, actually, no, we're going we're gonna to do uh, I formation, and I'm going to do a trap right and give it to uh, Heavens. Jerome Heavens gets the ball, and Jerome Heavens is going to pick up about three. Uh, Dakin makes another tackle, uh, second down and seven. 
We're gonna slow this clock up a bit now. I mean, you're up ten, you're up ten, you're up twenty-three nothing. Now you want to start running clock. Uh, second down and second down and seven. Uh, three wide receiver, one running back. I'm gonna give the ball. I'm gonna make an inside run to Heavens. Here's the handoff to Jerome Heavens and Heavens. McDaniel brought him down at the 48, a gain of three. That was Red McDaniel, his second tackle. It'll be third down and four. Third and four, three wide receiver, two running back now. Uh, I'm going to see if Haynes can make a play, uh, play action. I'm going to see. We're going to try a short hitch play. Back to throw is Montana. Looking, looking, throws. It's caught. It turns into a short pass, but nope, it's going to go all the way down. It's a 50-yard pass completion. First down, Irish. What was the name of the quarterback that got hurt? Slago or something? I don't know, but this, this, this quarterback, Montana, might be pretty good. I don't know. Could be. First and goal for the Irish at the Georgia Tech 2. What a 50-yard pass play. What, just brought down by Bob Bowen makes his seventh tackle. What a play by Chris Haynes. First and goal at the two. Two wide receiver, two running back. I formation. We're going to go for a dive play. Try to give it to Heavens. Here's the handoff to Jerome Heavens, and he's got it. Heavens takes the handoff. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. Notre Dame just pouring it on right now as Jerome Heavens gets his third touchdown of the game. We'll go for the extra point. And it's good. A completely different game here in the second half as Notre Dame has just owned it. 8.20 left to play. Notre Dame leads Georgia Tech 30-0. to zero. We'll kick it deep. Here's the here's the return. Hill has it at the 13, and it's uh, Christensen who makes a tackle, a return of 14 yards, first down and 10. Well, the 30 nothing lead. Uh, guess what, Rudiger? I think you're probably going to finish the game. So, and I, what do we want to do? I, Willie Fry has just been unbelievable. Willie Fry's got Willie Fry had it had uh, had it was off was was awesome today. He did a great job. Um, Jeff Weston has done well. Ross Brown has done well, and Steve Niehaus has been unbelievable. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna bring him in here and let him play. Uh, uh, bring him there. So Rudiger, you're in there for the rest of the game. Enjoy it. So Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Can he get another? Can he make another play some, somewhere? We'll find out. First down and ten for Georgia Tech at their own twenty-seven. We'll call a pass defense. I know it's a it's a run. This time it's Simon, and Simon makes a tackle. Trap up with Sims, a gain of five. It'll be second down and five for uh, the Fighting Irish. Uh, go back to man-to-man -to -man coverage, and we'll call a run. Here's another handoff. This time, head with the handoff, but it is um, Luther Bradley making his third tackle. Gain of four, third down and one now for the Jackets. Third and one. I think we're going to see a run defense here. I'm going to send Becker in. And here's the play. Here's the play. Here's the play. And this one's gone around there. Becker blitzing. Off tackle left with Sims. He has the first down. Steve Niehaus, 10 tackles today. It was a nine-yard game, but it's a first down for Georgia Tech. With 7 2 left to play, the game really is no longer in doubt. First down and 10 for the, for the Yellow Jackets. They're on 45. Uh, we're going to stay in a run defense. Here's the play. Handoff. And head with the handoff is tackled by uh, Jim Stock. That's his fifth tackle of the game. Second down and eight. Notre Dame's defense has just been absolutely incredible today. Second down and eight. Staying man-to-man -man defense. Uh, I think we're going to go tight coverage and call a pass this time. Nope. It's going to be a pitch out. And a heck of a pitch out to Sims to the 50, but Niehaus is going to get his 11th tackle, a gain of four, third down and four. And for those of you wondering, there's Rudy right there. There's Dan Rudiger. He does have a tackle today. He does have a tackle. He made a great play. It was a, fir it was a first down, but he did make the tackle to save it. So Rudy did get credit for a tackle. Third down and four. Can he make another play? Third and four. We're going to go for a run defense. Uh, gonna, we're gonna go. We're gonna blitz Golik up the middle. 
Here's the play. Back to throw. Golik has got it there. Rudiger. And Golik dropped by Golik. Loss of nine. Third sack today for Bob Golik. He has been unbelievable today. Three sacks. Myers appears to have been hurt. It's going to be fourth down and 13, and Georgia Tech will have to punt. Looks like it should land inside the 10, and we're going to just uh, we're going to call a punt return anyway. It's returnable, and Simon Porter makes the stop. It's a return of four, so Notre Dame has the ball on their own 14-yard line, first down. Here comes uh, Joe Montana, looking better every uh, every play. Um, looking better every play. Really, really is. Full house play. We're going to go back to two, back, two wide receiver, two running back. Uh, I'm going to do a trap right and try to give it to Jerome Heavens. He's been excellent today. And Jerome Heavens tackled by Dakin at the 17, a gain of three. That's seven tackles for Tony Dakin. Joe Montana, 6 of 14 for 137 yards. Not too bad. Now we'll go back to slow. Uh, just running this clock down. Uh, two wide receiver, two running back. We'll do outside run. Going to hand it off to McLean. McLean gets the handoff this time. He goes, runs, and knocked out of bounds the 20. And it's Don Shank making the tackle. Seven tackles. It's third down and uh, about four. 415 left to play. 415. Uh, three wide receivers. Say a two, a two wide receiver, two running back. Uh, actually, go three wide receiver, running back. And we're going to do a. Uh, we're going to stick with a run to the right, get it to Heavens, see if we can get the first down. Here's the handoff to Jerome Heavens, and Heavens, no. Leveled by Dick at the 19, it's a loss of one. So Notre Dame, fourth down, will have to punt it. So here's the punt. Boom. And Georgia Tech's got it, and doesn't get much. Heimkreider brought him down. Not a bad Receiving team, 15-yard penalty. And that will bring the ball all the way back to the Georgia Tech 21. 327 left to play. Georgia Tech just absolutely getting manhandled by Notre Dame. This is the 19, once again, this is the 1975 Rudy game between Georgia Tech and Notre Dame, the actual game that was played on, on the field. Uh, and, and, and this was the game they used in the movie, which is the play he made. And yes, he, and yes, people, um, and I'll show you here. There's Jeff Weston, and I brought in uh, Rudiger, and I'm going to put him back in there. And yes, uh, for those of you, Dan Rudiger did make one tackle, as you can see there. He did make a tackle. First down and 10. Uh, we're going to stick with a run defense. Here's the play. You know, it's going to be here, and, it's gonna, and, and Myers fades back the pass. He's sacked by Niehaus. Two sacks for Steve Na for uh, Niehaus, and that just moves the ball back to the 14-yard line. A new player alert come in: uh, Adrian Rucker and Bucky Schamberger. Pretty much, uh, pretty much Georgia Tech is thrown in the towel here. You're down 30 nothing with 3:20 left to play. Uh, second down and 14. We're going to go for a pass defense. Here's the play, and here's the play, and it's Steve Weston who sacked him. A loss of six, and no, we're not going to call a timeout. So now third down and 20, and we're going to bring Rudiger back in here. So third down and 20, pass defense. Here's the play, back to throw. Rudiger trying to get in there. It's a heavy rush, by, and Fry pulls him down by the tackle. Third sack today by Fry. The Notre Dame defensive line has just been unstoppable. Fourth down for Georgia Tech at, the, at, their, and tw at their own two. They're not going to call a timeout. And on 4th and 29, Georgia Tech's going to call Georgia Tech's going to call a play on 4th and 29. All right. We'll call a pass defense. We're going to go we're going to go deep zone, pass defense. Here's the play, back to throw, back to throw. Myers face back here comes a rush, sacked by Browner, loss of one. Ross Browner with three sacks today. This has just been the, this has been the Notre Dame sack exchange. Notre Dame gets the ball. The Georgia Tech won. First down and goal. Uh, Notre, first down and goal at the one yard line. Um, why is why not? Full house. Uh, we'll go. No, we'll go two wide receiver, two running backs. I formation. Give the ball to Heaven. See if he can get his fourth touchdown. And he, nope. Joe Montana. Had bad snap, 
Montana had to do it. The ball was marked a two, loss of one. Uh, I'm not going to call a timeout, but I'll just make it slow. Uh, second down and goal at the two. Uh, we'll do a trap left to Heavens. Here's the play. Hand off to Heavens. And Jerome Heavens, that's a touchdown. Jerome Heavens, four touchdowns in this ball game. And just unbelievable how well he has done. 26 rushes for 86 yards, four scores. We'll go ahead and kick the extra point. It's good. And with 106 left, it's 37 to nothing. Notre Dame over Georgia Tech. We'll go ahead and kick it deep. It's returnable. Not much daylight, and Banks makes a tackle in 34 and 18 and 18 yard return. So 56 seconds left to play. Rudiger, Rudy Allen is now the new quarterback for Georgia Tech. Rudiger, uh, Rudy is on Rudy is on the field. So maybe he can make a play. Uh, we're going to go for a man-to-man uh, -man defense. We'll call a uh, pass defense. Here's the play. Here's the play. Myers throws. And this is Rabel dives. He can't make the catch. It's incomplete. Second down and 10. Clock stopped, 0-41. Uh, pass defense. Here's the play. Dropping back to throw. This pass is complete to Brees, but it was out of bounds. So now it's third down and 10. Um, we're going to try. I wish I could really throw. I wish I could put uh, Rudiger, have him go to the end, but he's not listed. I don't think he's listed in the end. No, he can't. So he's defensive tackle. Funny as it is. So third down and 10 for Georgia Tech at their own 34. Uh, we'll do 4-3 defense, and we'll call a pass, definitely. Here's the play. Here comes the move, and he throws the pass. It's going to be sh long past the Rabel, but it's incomplete. Shadowed by Bradley before it down. Georgia Tech is going to go ahead and punt. Notre Dame gets the return. Tierney tackled him by the ankle. About a yard, punt of 38 yards, and that's it. So 10 seconds left to play. And let's 10 seconds back to play. And we're going to go ahead, just a dive play, hand it off to Heavens. Here's the handoff to Jerome Heavens. And Heavens tackled by Kelly at the 43, a gain of 11. He has 97 yards. It is a first down, but that is the ball game. Well, it was pretty, it, I think the original final score was 24 to 3 or 27, 24 to 7. I'm not entirely sure of that final. I'll have to look it up again, but. You guys can let me know. But anyway, Notre Dame all over Georgia Tech in this game, 37 to nothing. Let's take a look at the box score. This is going to be um, uh, th this is going to be kind of uh, ugly. Uh, Notre Dame, 25 first downs. They rushed for 165 yards. Uh, 11 yards passing for Georgia Tech. There was just nothing there. Uh, four fumbles by Georgia Tech. Uh, but but you know, uh, bad passes. Uh, there were two bad passes, four drop passes, four missed tackles, um, 17 blitzers, seven here. Um, but look at this number here, 13 sacks on Georgia Tech quarterbacks. They just, they, they were just, um, they were just unconscious. And yes, Rudiger did get himself a tackle. And if you want to see that, ta if you just joined us thinking it was at the end, you're going to have to watch the whole game to find out where he got the tackle. Well, everyone, that's it for this version of College Football's Greatest Hits. Uh, I'll choose the second game probably in a couple of days for this, for this new series I'm starting. So, everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. That's the Rudy game, everybody. So, Rudiger is being carried off the field as we speak. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Once again, the final score, Notre Dame, Notre Dame 37, Georgia Tech nothing. See you next time, everybody.